Rob Dial. I uh, have a podcast called The Mindset Mentor. It's usually one of the top 100 podcasts in the world. And uh, I just teach people how to improve themselves by understanding themselves a little bit more. Inner transformation I help people go through is to make them aware that they think they know themselves, but they actually usually don't know themselves. So people usually don't understand their unconscious patterns and habits and where they came from, who they picked them up from, and uh, usually it comes from their parents. I always say the easiest way to think of it is like, your parents tell you that you look a certain way if someone tells you that you're not smart. It's like putting on a shirt and you wear that shirt for the rest of your life and you say, I'm not smart, I'm not smart, I'm not smart. And then one day you look down and you're like, whose fucking shirt is this? That is the I'm not smart shirt. Like this isn't what I want to wear. And if you want to, you can change at any point in time or you can continue to wear it if you want to as well. But most people usually don't want to. So I usually make them aware of the, the stuff that they're unaware of and then help them work through whatever is they're working through. What becomes possible is absolute freedom because people don't realize we have a lot of triggers. Some people get triggered and they get angry. Some people get triggered and they get emotional. Some people get triggered and then they shut down. Um, but anywhere that you're triggered is a place where you're not free. It's, you're not free whenever you're triggered by something. If I can be triggered by something externally, uh, it means that I'm not in control of myself. And it's like Viktor Frankl has a quote where he says, between stimulus and response is a little tiny gap. It might be only a tenth of a second, but if you can master that tenth of a second, you can master your life. Where if it's like something happens and the awareness comes up of, oh, normally this would make me angry, this would piss me off. All right, let me feel it, let me breathe into it, and let me see if I can work through it and not allow this to uh, get me angry. So what becomes possible? Complete freedom and peace and equanimity. What people can do to become more aware is super simple. You take everything that's going on to your mind and you put it down with pen and paper. Because when something's in your head, it's usually super abstract. I've had friends that are going through divorces and things that are going on in the relationship. And I'm like, hey, let's just go ahead and just write it down with pen and paper. And I was like, no, 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 I know what's going on. I know what's going on in my head. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, let's just, let's just write it out and see. And you write it out and you start writing it down in a piece of paper. And when it becomes physical and you can look at it, a lot of times it becomes easier to work through. So it's like, if you're gonna create a business plan, nobody would create a business plan and not write that business plan down on a piece of paper or whiteboard it out. So what's the difference when you're trying to work with something very complex in your own mind? Why would you want to just work it on your head? Why don't you actually put it on paper and say, oh, you know, I was triggered because she said this to me. Okay, was it what she said to me or is it the way that she made me feel by that? Okay, where did it come from? And this, the simplest form of, of journaling, people think they sit down and it's like, dear diary, today I did this, this. It's literally ask yourself a question and then answer it. And then if you want to go deeper into it, ask yourself a question around the answer that you just gave. And if you can do that, and journal through it, you become, I mean, that's what a psychotherapist does. A psychotherapist will sit down and try to ask you as many questions as possible without ever giving you anything. You're basically becoming your own psychotherapist at that time. If I could have coached myself five years ago, I would have told myself it's gonna work, but chill out. Uh, for me, it was like the first 30 something years of my life was just how can I make more money? How can I make more money? How can I make more money? And then I got to a certain point and I was like, I don't fucking feel any different. I feel exactly the same way that I did. And I realized that what I was what I was searching for was actually what I thought money would provide, which is safety, which made me realize I actually just didn't feel safe in myself. And so the safety came from a lot more work of, you know, I probably five years ago would have told myself to do psychedelics earlier. That's what I that's probably what I would have told myself to do. Um, but I think that what I would have told myself is, you know, just allow it to process, allow yourself time. And, uh, you know, everything takes time, but enjoy the ride a little bit more is what I would have probably told myself.